Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host Jonathan Parkinson. And in this episode I'm going to be showing you how to do a little bit of editing on your Crouton for Chromebook. And when I talk about editing, this is actually going to be based on the audio portion of editing. We will do video in another another segment. So without further ado, the first thing you're going to need to make sure you have downloaded is something called Audacity. To install Audacity, you can either go into your software center, which is located in your system, and down into Ubuntu software center, or you can open up the terminal and type in the following command. Once you have that installed, you can go ahead and open up Audacity. Audacity for me is going to be on my navigation bar or my XFC panel, what it's really called. Simply just go into your menu, scroll down to multimedia, and it should be one of the first application names on the list. If you do not have a menu bar the way I do, you can always right click the desktop, scroll to applications, multimedia, and there it is again. So go ahead and open that up. And you're going to need an audio clip to edit. In this video, I'm going to be editing the first portion of my video. So we have it right here as part one. I'm just going to drag and drop it right into the application. And then it'll load it up. Now, I always suggest that you zoom in just a little bit. The reason being is you want to kind of get in there and see your segments as they're broken down in between the quiet moments as well as the moments when you're speaking. So let's take a listen to this to hear it before we do any editing. Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host Jonathan Parkinson. Okay, so the first things first is we're going to go ahead and remove the noise in the background. The noise in the background is usually going to be these little squiggly lines right here. So make sure you have this icon selected. This is going to be our highlight tool. And once you have a segment highlighted, you want to make sure you don't have any of your audio of your voice or any background music that you're trying to keep into the actual track. And then you're going to go into effect. You're going to go down to noise removal and you're going to click get noise profile. So what this is doing is actually copying this little area right here. And this is telling it that this is the noise that we're trying to remove which is the background noise. You will then either press Control A, which will highlight your entire clip, or you can start at the very beginning and then just click and drag to highlight it. And then again, go back into the effect, the same tab, go into noise removal. But this time, instead of clicking get noise profile, since we already have it, you just want to click OK. And as you see how small that got now, so let's try to listen to that again. So you see how crisp that sounds? That is going to be because we removed that background noise. Now, there's going to be another little effect we want to try. And this is going to go down to normalize. It'll be right below the noise removal. Go ahead and click OK. And it's going to do exactly kind of what it's saying, normalizing the sound. Hello and welcome to another episode of the So there we go, it picked up the volume. All right, that's starting to sound good. Now, if you need to add a little bass, if you have a, uh, not a bassy voice and you do want to, you know, kind of tone that up a bit, it does sound better for the videos. You want to go to bass and treble and go ahead and kick this up. So we'll kick it up to about four. Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Parkinson. I will press Control Z to reverse it. Hello and welcome to another uh, I do actually like the bass, so I'll keep it in. So we'll go to edit. Redo bass and treble. And there we have it. So, if you're going to edit multiple segments, it's going to be best that you either drop, drop them all in right here so you can keep dragging and dropping a new segment and editing them together as far as making sure your bass throughout the video stays the same, your normalization, the noise removal, and so on. Uh, or you can just kind of memorize what's going on. So, for this video, I'm just going to remember that my bass and treble was up four. I removed the background sound as well as I normalized it. And that's all you really need to do to make a good quality video for your sound. Uh, 
again there's more effects in there where you can start tinkering but just for the overall basic getting your sound to sound the best quality for your users can enjoy it that's all you really need to do you would then just go ahead and go to file export uh, wherever you would like to export it for this I'm going to export it to my desktop I will call it part one as well and save okay and you can always add track title information in that last window if you'd like to and that's all you need to do now if you are going to be using this part of a video the way I am I will show you in the open shop video thanks for watching it's been a proud sponsor of DMG Tech Show and I'm your host Jonathan Parkinson